On the 14th of August 1961, Nigeria was still basking in the euphoria of its new status as an independent nation attained in October of the preceding year. On this day, the world welcomes the birth of little Taiwo and Kende, twins born of royal Ijebu blood to the family of the well-respected Archdeacon Benaya Adeleke Adelaja and his adorable wife, Omoba Evangeline Adebayo Adelaja. The twins, Taiwo, a boy, and Kende, a girl, are the last of the children in this Christian family of two renowned educationists. Growing up, therefore, Kende had the best of times with all the good education she could get. Otsumba Shibumi Balogun is one of Nigeria's most distinguished and decorated public figures in business and social service. He has known Kende from her childhood years. Kende is my niece, and I believe I have known her since she was a toddler. The late Mrs. Bayo Adelaja, her mother, was a particularly affectionate and close cousin of mine. Veteran advertising guru, the evergreen Otsumba Tsunde Adelaja, is Kende's first cousin. She had the best of everything, and I believe uh, she, she was fully prepared, let me put it that way, to, to face life. After graduating from the University of Lagos with a degree in accounting, Kende got married to her sweetheart, engineer Olayinka Kamsen, in 1984, and they are blessed with five children, two boys and three girls. Now a grandmother to two lovely children, Mrs. Kende Kamsen today sits atop a flourishing business chain, the Sweet Sensation Confectionery Limited, as its founder and chief executive officer. She's a reproduction of her late mother in ingenuity, in business acumen. There's nothing as good as taking up from where your ancestors have left off, you know. Um, my mom did this food and catering thing and there was nobody else in the family that picked it up. Candy picked it up right away and she, she, she's done it successfully. Sweet Sensation is arguably Nigeria's sweetest success story in the quick service restaurant business. But it has taken a whole lot of hard work to get to this point. She is a hard worker. Kende will not sleep, you may not know, sometimes she works right through the night. I went to but I think I was having to sign, I know I, I, I work right through the night, what writing. Sometimes she writes the copy for her advertising materials because she could see, I mean, she had that vision. She's a visionary. Uh, she's, uh, and I, I think her background more than anything helped her. And uh, as Yoruba say, you say, She is driven, very, very driven. Uh, I don't know where she gets that amount of energy from, uh, but I wish I, I could borrow some from her. Kindly comes in, can work 24 hours a day without knowing that 10 day is coming to an end. At this stage, perhaps, the question may now be asked, with the enormous demands and challenges of the corporate environment. How has Mrs. Kende Kamsin been able to strike a balance between her role as a mother and that of a top-flight business executive? What I've noticed about her is that most decisions are based on the family. The family comes first, and she has demonstrated that in a lot of ways. Yes, indeed. Mrs. Kempson is never one to be found wanting when it comes to matters concerning her family. For example, with the arrival of her first baby, she promptly resigned from paid employment to take proper care of her crowning glory. My mother has never fallen short of being there for us, right from childhood to where we are now. Even in the midst of business calls and all, she always puts us first. That's one thing I admire so much about her. Family, God comes first to her, always. <laughs> She's always had a way of still having her own special bond with us. 
if it's staying up with us to study for an exam or taking us to school, coming for PT meetings or lessons, we've always still had that special time with her. Let me say that uh, what one is seeing is a reincarnation of all the attributes of uh, Kendi's mother in Kendi. Kendi appeared to be, to be always excited whenever she is told that this person is her uncle or her cousin. Mrs. Kendi Kempson is often described by many as a woman with the Midas touch, that is in business circles. In life, generally, many others see her as a woman with the common touch, an attribute that has since left an indelible impression in the mind of engineer Kempson, her doting husband of 27 years. The way she looked after my late mother, it touched me so much because she actually looked after as if it was her own mother. That was really touching. And, you know, one feels grateful for having such a wife that can do that and still be able to keep the business together. Mrs. Kempson's heart of gold is not for her immediate family alone. She radiates love and affection beyond borders, both at the personal and organizational levels. Her commitments to charity and church growth are well documented. Recently, on the 8th of August 2011, to be precise, Mrs. Kempson pulled out all the stops to bring together Nigerians from all walks of life during the launch of the Sweet Sensation Education Support Scheme, a unique initiative to provide support to students of low-income families who might otherwise be unable to sustain their educational costs. More than that, the scheme is also designed to promote leadership qualities and creative abilities among young Nigerian school children. The event also witnessed the presentation of a book authored by Mrs. Kempson showcasing another dimension of her artistic brilliance and intellectual endowments. A woman well admired for numerous successes recorded in various fronts, her children are immensely proud of her achievement and are indeed hoping to step into her extra large shoes. In return, I think the best I can do for my mother is just reciprocate what she has done for me, which has she's given me so much love, attention and care and going forward, I think the best thing I can do for her is just reciprocate those things. My prayer is that the purpose that which, for which God created my life, I will achieve it because that's what I know will make my mom proud. So whatever it may be, as long as I achieve that purpose, I know my mom is happy. Mrs. Kende Kempson at 50. Has the world seen the very best of this admirably successful example of Nigerian entrepreneurial accomplishment? I believe the way she's going, the sky is our limit. The best is yet to be seen. An alumnus of Lagos Business School, Kane De Kampson is not looking back. She's always pushing the boundaries, always challenging herself in order to keep ahead of competition. The one thing I'm grateful to God for in my mother's life is her strength. I think it requires a great deal of strength to pull off what my mom does day to day, week to week, year to year. I am grateful to God for keeping my mother in good health and in good spirits, for giving her a loving and caring husband, and for giving her loving and caring friends and family. And I know that he will continue to do that for her. For Mrs. Kempson's only sister, Dr. Mrs. Adekpejo Lukoya, who recently retired from public service at the World Health Organization in Geneva, sweet moments like this are better enjoyed with sweet songs that remind us of love that never dies. I will sing you the birthday song, the version we normally sang at our church in Geneva. Happy birthday to you, we are glad God made you. We love you, we bless you, happy birthday to you. I wish you a long, healthy life. Kendi, you know very well that from the bottom of my heart and that of your auntie, Olori Abimbola, 
we wish you mightily many happy returns. Omo Kendi comes in on my Dilaja. Aburu mi atata. Aburu mi on Ijire. My prayer for you. This auspicious time of your life is that God will spare your life to see another 50 years. Kendi, on the occasion of our 50th uh, birthday uh, anniversary, I wanted to wish you a great one. I cannot find the words to express how grateful I am for the, for the gift of you, and I hope you feel the same about me. Happy birthday, Mom. We all love you ever so much. Please keep doing what you do best. Uh, Mommy, as you celebrate your 50th birthday, I uh, just want to wish you uh, a long life and prosperity. Uh, my prayer for you is that uh, even as you've sacrificed a lot of years building, uh, sacrificing and giving, uh, that your time to celebrate uh, will never cease. And even as you begin your celebration, we pray for many more years for you. Omokende Olushala Kamsin, as you celebrate your 50th year today, I wish you good health, God's blessing. Yet, the best is yet to be seen from you. The good Lord is going to guide you as you approach 60, 70, 80. We'll all be there with your children and with your grandchildren and with your great-grandchildren to celebrate with you in good health. I know how hard-working Kainde is and I really wish her well. I want to wish her many happy returns, many more years. Even many more, if Jesus tarries, many more years in good health and giving back to society, even as she's done with her book. Kainde is an embodiment of um, Proverbs 31, the virtuous woman. She's kind, she's um, loving, she's caring to everybody around her. She wants to give everything she has to people. Uh, honestly, I wish her all the best. I wish her a successful, happy birthday. I wish her everything good in life. I really thank God for her and I wish her the very, very best. That birthday present that she desires from God, that is between her and God, I know God will give to her in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, MD. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Grandma.